Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to test date picker in your web test automation using Selenium Python WebDriver. Let's look at the testing site. On this jQueryUI.com, we have a control named date picker. By using date picker, you can pick a date and the value will be returned to the date field. So the first one is month, day and year. Date picker can show up in different format. Let's say select a date range. So from to and restrict date range and also format date. So in this example, I will explain how to use the default functionality of the date picker. Let's right click on the date picker field and find out how we can identify the element. Right click on this field. Click on the inspect option. So on this console, use the pointer. Look at the date. Now let's look at this control. So as you see on the screen, this control is under an iframe. So we need to define an iframe and use switch to frame to point the web driver to the frame. So now if we move the cursor down to the input, this field can be identified using ID date picker. You can also use send keys method to directly type a date into the date field, but that's not what the control is about. The control is about clicking on the date field and select a day using the calendar. So let's say if I click on 10, this will be February 10th, 2016. If I click on 13, this is February 13th, 2016. So once we click on this field, and this is the calendar control, let's find out how we can identify a day on this calendar control. So I click on 13. Now let's use the pointer to 13. So if you look at here, now let's look at the element hierarchy. So we have a table and under table, we have table body. Under table body, we have a row and under row, we have a cell and under cell, we have a HTML tag named A and the value is 13. So this is how we can identify a day from this calendar control. So in this test implementation, first we use switch to frame to switch the driver to this frame and then we find this date picker by using ID. Then we click on the date picker and we find the day using XPath and we click on the day. Once the day is returned to the input field because the value of the date picker has been changed, we find the date picker and return its value, then we do assertion on the 
day string. Now let's look at the test automation script. I close this console and close this browser. Now let's look at the actual script. I created a Python file, named it as Selenium Python Date Picker Unitest.py, and use Python Unitest Framework. So import unit test, import time. Again, time is just for demo purpose, for delaying some action. From Selenium, import web driver. Then I define a class date picker test. So this class extends the Python unit test dot test case module or object. So on this setup method, I define a driver instance for Chrome. So self.driver equals webdriver.chrome self.driver.maximize window. We maximize the browser window. Now I define a test method, name it as test date picker input text. So driver equals self.driver now navigate to the test website so driver dot get https colon slash slash jquery ui dot com slash date picker i added three seconds slip time now we define the frame frame equals driver dot find element by tag name because on this side we only have one frame, one iframe, so we can use the tag name. And if we have multiple iframes, we need to use XPath or we need to use different locator to point the iframe. Now frame is defined, then we switch to the frame, driver dot switch to frame. Now we find the date picker. Date picker equals driver dot find element by ID date picker because the date picker element ID is date picker. Now click on the date picker to show the calendar. So date picker dot click. We clicked on the field. Then the calendar will display. Now I added three seconds slip time. Now we find the day. So day equals driver dot find element by xpath so table and table body tr is a row td is a cell and the cell has an anchor a text equals 13 now we click on the day day dot click we add 5 seconds slip time uh, for demo purposes now we find the date picker element again because the date picker element value has been changed so date picker equals driver dot find element by id date picker now we print out the date so date is date picker dot get attribute this is a value attribute here I would like to point out that when you use date picker dot text, it returns empty string because date picker control will return a value to the date picker. So we need to get the attribute of the value. Now we do self dot assert equal date picker dot get attribute value. This should equal to 13 because we clicked on the 13. Then on this teardown method, self.driver.close and self.driver.quit. Then using the unit test main to execute the script. 
So the script is completed. Now let's run the script with the command line. So the file name is python date picker unit test dot pi. So now I type python then selenium python date picker unit test dot pi. I hit enter. Now browser opened maximized the control displayed the field is clicked calendar displayed now certain is returned now five seconds have passed and test is completed run one test in 17 seconds and test result is okay so now let's change the day let's say we want to pick a different day for this month. So in this code, let's say we want to pick a day for uh, 15th. So if we click on the day 15th, then the assertion should be 15 here. I changed the script. I save it. Now let's run the test again. So on this command line, Python, selenium, python, date picker, unit test.py. Then I hit enter. So browser is open. The date picker displayed. Now click calendar displayed. 15 is clicked and it's returned. So on this console output, you will see that Test is completed in 17 seconds and date is February 15th, 2016. Test result is OK. So this is how you can test a date picker in your test automation script. Or if you want to test any application that has a date picker, you can use this method to select a day from the uh, date picker control. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always visit instructional articles on the seleniummaster.com website or you can send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.